Hi, I'm going to be spending most of this video talking about um, Robert's time on Ally McBeal. Um, this is probably going to be one of the most valuable DVDs in my collection. Not that it's particularly hard to find necessarily, but no, I've, I've kind of waited for a while before I got it because, you know, they were showing the repeats on Reel's channel and I saw, I think I saw a bunch of them. Well, I saw pretty much the whole fourth season, and I saw most of the good ones, like at least twice, and I figured I'd wait a little bit and let let the stuff sink in, let myself forget about it a little bit, because kind of the worst worst thing that you can do is, like, watch something so many times where everything comes a little predictable. I'm, I've kind of did that to myself with Iron Man, like, almost every time it's on, it's, it's televised, I... I either have to watch or I can at least consider watching it, even though, you know, I kind of know what's going to happen, but it, it it doesn't really hurt because it's a pretty good role, but in the long run, probably Larry Paul is going to be the one I'm always going to remember. Pro I don't know. It's, it's a little bittersweet, I guess you could say, because, you know, it's great seeing him on the show, but at the same time, the storyline gets convoluted after a while, like, you know, he and Allie start to get together, and all of a sudden she starts to find out more about his past. Like, uh, she finds out that she that he has a kid, that he's got he's had like two other relationships. One is the the mom of his son Sam, and the other one is his ex-wife, which he still gets along with pretty well. Which is kind of I guess true to like at least the shape that his life kind of kind of took um he susan is his second marriage and i think he like now he probably does still get along with his ex pretty well yeah but with larry paul it's like i i had to see what he was like so i like what i watched the show and i didn't expect to like fall in love with him as much as i did i mean he's really a sweet guy and i wouldn't necessarily say he's perfect i mean nobody's perfect but he seems like kind of at least for me somebody who's kind of shares some of ali's insecurities about like life like ever fa falling in love that sort of thing i mean he seems like the, the type of guy that i would be into from like pretty much every perspective and what she kind of gets out of it is I don't know, the timing was perfect, like she was a little bit of a lost soul, I guess you could say, going into the fourth season, I mean, as far as I know, she had this one guy, Billy, that she always kind of had feelings for, but he kind of, like, towards, I don't know, exactly, like, when he died, but after that, she was having trouble getting into relationships or, like, really finding the right guy. And it's kind of ironic that the way Robert described Larry Paul, he would he came into Allie's life at like the perfect time, kind of like the way some people come into our lives. That I don't know. You you kind of don't know what to expect, I guess, when you first see them, but they turn out to be something that you kind of you kind of needed, but you really didn't didn't know that you needed until you had it. Like like with him, like for the the first show. He, she kind of mistakes him for a therapist because, you know, he's in her old therapist's office and she kind of goes to him about advice about his her current relationship and while talking to him, and she, he kind of says the things that she's afraid to admit to him to herself that she, she was great, happy to meet this guy, but didn't really, there was really no spark. And then, I don't know, after a while, she kind of, the two of them kind of got together and of course I'm always going to hate the, the way that it ends so it's there are certain shows on the DVD collection I'm probably not not going to watch ever again because I don't know they're they're a little depressing especially the last one the last one was pretty even though I kind of knew what was going to happen I mean he he relapsed again in real life and they wrote his character out of the show, but I didn't think it would be like that cutthroat, like he he and Allie like broke up, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's kind of very sweet that it ends that way. And and I've had a couple of dreams where 
well, if I'm not dreaming about that, I usually see him in, like, Sherlock Holmes mode, which is kind of interesting. But I've had, like, maybe a couple in a row, like, going back a couple months, where I want to or I'm about to ask, like, like, that's the kind, kind of one of the top things in mind. I'm, I would probably, I, I would almost wring his neck and ask him, how could you do this? I mean, this was like the perfect role for you and the series could have ended on a good, good, happy note and all that instead of, yeah, no, I always kind of have that in the back of my mind. But while he, in part, he might kind of, look back on it with a little bit of regret. I kind of hope he doesn't because there was some great acting there. I mean, oh my God, it was pretty much amazing. And the, pretty much the coolest thing about it was a lot of people, if they didn't really watch his movies, like not a lot of his movies were like big successes or anything, but they found out while watching him on the show that he could sing like the first time I think I heard him was singing in the the Christmas show, he sang River by Joni Mitchell, and oh my god, it was, it was amazing, I mean, just hearing that voice come out of him, I didn't know he could sing, that sort of thing, and of course he came out with the album, I had to get the album, and I'll review in a, in a future video, like really go into like why, why it's like, I I'll, I'll, I'll know how to describe it exactly, it's kind of like Mostly jazz, definitely piano oriented because he, he can play piano and all that. But yeah, Larry Paul's, I'm always going to remember like what a sweet guy that character was and more people should like at least check him out if they didn't, they didn't already, I mean, it's the kind of thing where it's like you get quality over quantity, like you don't see too much of him like throughout the the fourth season but whenever you, you do see him it's like it's always this extra ray of sh sunshine and that's kind of what I ended up getting when it, whenever like I'll turn on the show I'll, like look forward to it every day I really didn't have anything to look forward to like dealing with looking for work not getting much success there and some odd way and just it kind of helped me a little bit just having that little something that like made me smile every day and that's kind of like one of the things I would like to tell him if I ever got the chance but yeah so from an next video I'll probably go into the futurist I'll hopefully have a little a bit more constructive stuff to say about that because it's it's really worth checking out <laughs>